are such an asshole. Hello, children. Old school Cappy. We got the intro back because I got a... I won't lie. I, uh... <clears throat> I'm being a boomer and uh, I don't want to learn how to stream videos on StreamYards. And besides, who doesn't love the intro to Asshole Consulting? We have a request. And if you have a request, you could go to assholeconsulting.com. As long as you got money in question, I got answers as long as I can legally answer it. Zach writes, please do an action after action review of this dating horror story. This YouTube video is about 20 minutes long. All right, so I'll go through it. <clears throat> we'll do this. this is from a who is this from? This is a Christina Randall with half a million subscribers. Uh, she's a very done up, uh, I went, she's a young lady, she's a young lady, but she's probably younger 30s or so. And um, based on her site, it, it's, it's targeted towards, it's like a, it's like Cosmo, I guess, if you're looking like, oh, like, imagine 30 years ago before the internet, she'd be working for Cosmo. So let's go through this, uh, title is most cringe date ever story time, 20 minutes. So it's, he paid, so I gotta play. He reaches in his mouth and he pulls out his two front teeth and when he does the spit and saliva slapped onto his thumb and he takes his teeth and he sets them on the table. Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that this- Okay, uh, I was trying to be open minded I always try to be open-minded. I'm glad I was because I was like, ah, oh, pretty girl, it's gonna be, oh, he didn't open the door and, and pay for my lobster and steak and then he expected a second date. That was pretty gross, so I think, what's she doing going out with a guy that old? I don't know, who does that much meth? All right, well, I gotta get through this quickly because I got other stuff to do, so let's, let's go on. This video is for entertainment purposes only. It is only to expose another cringy part of my life with you guys for your enjoyment. Eh. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in the grocery store, in your home, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody, anywhere. I'm gonna pause every 30 seconds, otherwise we'll get copyright. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name she is white, if you're wondering. Uh, she has an accent that might lead you to believe she's black, but she is white. My name is Christina, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick with okay. you for a good old fashioned story time. Okay. Eh, I swear, all of my stories I feel like are just like. <sighs> fail, fail, fail. Before we get into it, I do also want to remind you guys that on January 20th, enjoy it. So make sure to set your DVRs and look into it. This is a classic case of trying to be friends with somebody and them okay here we um, two minutes and we finally get to it taking it to the next level i think probably all of us has been in that situation no shame to somebody that goes and tries to shoot their shot but i'm here to tell you guys that this is a situation that i was not interested in this was something that i did not want to be a date but the guy turned it into a date oh okay she got schnookered into no i i i know of that tactic so, or tried to turn, I still don't consider it a date, but for a good old fashioned, good click title, we're gonna call it my most cringe date ever. So if you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Christina. Oh, this is, you ever, has nothing to do with this topic, nothing. I don't know about you, but uh, I gotta repair the motorcycle or the car. Oh, I gotta replace the alternator in the car. And then I look it up. Then there's this like heavy metal guitar with some shitty ass 90s computer graphic, Bob's alternator repair. And then Bob is inevitably some fat guy. Hey, my name's Bob and Bob is spelled B-O-B -B, and this is when my mom's name was Phyllis, but my dad's name was Robert, so technically I'm Bob. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a car. And then more music and then, and then like some 90s flippy screeny thing comes by. All right, now what we're gonna work on today is this type of car. This car was designed by a Ford Motor Corporation in 1990. It had an original person. It skipped, 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 and you're halfway through. Not joking. 
halfway through the fucking video before you get to fixing the fucking alternator. I know I'm being paid. That's why I'm probably very impatient. And I'm sure her audience likes this. Whenever I was 21, I was sentenced to three years prison in the state of Florida. Now, when I got out of prison, I went to South Florida to a women's home, a Christian faith-based home to start my life over, start from the ground up, literally, and just build a new life for myself. My family and everybody that I knew was way on the other side of the state. So Which, <laughs> it, it's a lengthy drive, but it's not like, ah, never mind. I like East Coast people who think, Dude, I drove across Connecticut. Wow. I'm like, oh, you drove across Connecticut, huh? Have you been in Nevada? All right, sorry. So I was down there with nobody and didn't, and didn't know anything. When I got into this faith-based Christian home, I started going to church there. And my friend Pookie was there. You guys know Pookie, my girl Alex. She was there as well with me and me and the other women. Just for the client, you have not paid me enough. I totally, I didn't realize there'd be... It's for women. It is. It's not bad. Nothing wrong with this, but this is like me being forced to sit in a nail salon and listen to the topics of conversation right now. And we would go to church every single Sunday. We would go on Wednesdays, sometimes Tuesdays. So oh, there's an ad coming up. Great. Sometimes Thursday just to... And she doesn't edit them right now. depending on if we had to work or if there was a service or a group or something that we wanted to do. Literally, if I was not working or at school, I was probably doing something at church. Also, on Sunday mornings, I taught the four and five-year-olds in this place called Kid Zone. I absolutely loved it. I got to play so many fun games with those kids. And the church really went above and beyond to get me approved to volunteer because I can't work with children, but to even volunteer with the children. And it was literally one of the happiest times. Dude, we get into the date or what? At, see here, I know my audience. I know my clients. He probably knew she ain't going to get to the date story until like 17 minutes into this 20 minute video. Now I get to hear about Pookie the Clown at the church based faith initiative. And you're just torturing me. It could, I, I wouldn't put it past you guys. I would not put it past you. Of my life. So just like any organization that you are very much affiliated with, whether it be a golf club, a skating club, a toenail painting, hoobity hobbity woody club, you get the point. You get to know people, right? Like, so when I would go to church, I knew tons of people. We all did. It'd be like, hi, Barbara. I was home and it was a big obvious like these are women from a, a home or a shelter or front underneath the awning of the church so you know typically most churches in the front door there's going to be like an awning so if it <laughs> I hate you guys <clears throat> we need uh, ah never mind I'll tell you this story sometime later we don't need to go on the short version which I don't know people are capable of it is I went out with a girl on one day and she talked the entire two hours from picking her up to going to the thing to drop she talked I didn't get to say a word except oh mm -hmm, yeah oh mm -hmm. that was it two hours this is reminding me of that right now it's raining people can pull up underneath and you can get in the car if there's a wheelchair no shit! Is that what an awning's for? Or a walker or anything like that. Just nothing but friends and they're ready to parlay and praise Jesus. Okay, any petite lady. She just looked so cute. We're gonna call him John. John drove a- All right, is John the guy that you've gone on a date with? Now that the video is a quarter over, are we finally getting the John? Do I finally get to see where a Bubba Bobob brain Pops the hood, says, here's the alternator, and Aaron, that screw, it's not coming out. Oh, there's a hidden screw underneath. Is this the point we get? A really big, like, Escalade truck. You guys know what I'm talking about? The, like, big Escalade trucks. And y'all, the truck was, like, a bluish-greenish color, like, flip-flop candy painted. Like, it was a custom paint job. Really super nice truck. Big rims, probably 26-inch rims. I mean, huge. Okay. Which to the untrained eye you think is a lot of money, but which to the trained banker eye or analyst eye who's looked at financial statements, you know that dude ain't got no cash. Could be wrong, 
But usually guys who got cash don't get whatever 20 inch rims. Like system and everything. Sister, this happened. He would drive to the church and boom, 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 system blaring. And he would drive under that awning real slow, lay back with his little mama in the passenger seat, booming his Christian music. Boom, boom. Jesus, this boomer. Right, so we we gonna we gonna go there. White girl. He would always be staring at me in church, and then he was in a group with Pookie one of the nights of the week, and he was always talking to her about getting a date with me or hooking up with me or like getting to know me or whatever. And she would always and never ask you out. I'm I'm still with her on this one because if this what she said at the front was true, I. I could see where, you know, like, yeah, he's not asking you out, so he's probably a coward. I'm, I'm with her on that philosophy, but it, we're now six minutes, seven minutes into the story, and I got to hear a horrible, horrible pre-story. Uh, apparently, I'm in the minority. Everyone likes this, so I, but maybe that's her thing. That's her motif. She likes to paint very colorful preambles to a story. She tried to talk me into going out with him, and I would tell her... If you're watching this, Pookie, you know. Well, there's Pookie. I would tell her I'm not interested. Like, I had just gotten out of prison, or I'd been out for I don't know how long. This was a long time ago, 10, 12 years ago. I just got out of prison. I'm trying to get my license, yo. I'm trying to finish yo. school. I'm trying to save my little quaint. I'm working hard here. I am not interested in dating anybody. Okay, <sighs> I did not want to date him or, or anybody. She was trying to talk me into it, tell me didn't want to let people in, but for a good reason. I was focused on my goals, man. But the thing about it was, was even the people that ran this this home or whatever were really big on finding a Christian man and marrying him. They even had this, this little saying legit. that was like, if you don't get married within the first six months of dating somebody, then they're not the one for you. She, she's that it's true that this is that's what the church is like there's no doubt about that and that terrified me right i mean me and jeremy were together for years before we got married boy did i go in the opposite direction of what they suggested but if you'll permit me to plagiarize one of our favorite podcasters she was married before shocking the thing about it was was i was so impressionable coming well, you know, they would always nudge me like he likes you. You mate is always right for me. You know what I'm saying? Like every your girls are like, girl, you you're just you know whatever and to get cars. And I would go to work and then school and then bus didn't run that late. So when I got out of school, although I had to take a bus to school, when I got out of school, I to come and pick me up and give me a ride. And I thought. We are halfway through this video. Hang on, let me readjust. This is throwing me off a little bit. There we go. We are halfway through this video, and now she's getting to the point where they're. he's just picking her up. I thought this would be the story about the date, not the build-up to the date. I Hang on. Zach, is that your name? Zach, fuck you, Zach. Fuck you for making me listen to this. <sighs> I really need a ride, and this is a good time for me to show myself that my walls aren't up and that it's not that I'm broken, that I can be friends with somebody, right? I can be friends with somebody. Y'all. For the handful of women, <clears throat> I'm not ex expecting you to be like my fair lady and where you're just this refined British woman with an accent. Don't say y'all. Okay, just, I don't care if you're from the South, y'all, just, just say, you don't even say y'all, unless you're starting it, y'all better X, Y, and Z, like you were actually talking to a bunch of people, but when I end a sentence, I went to go and visit my nieces, and I stuffed them full of ice cream and dropped them back off at, at their folks, y'all, it doesn't mean, it's, axed, I gotta ask you a question, ask, yeah, axed, never mind. And now I get a Florida man. I finally get it. I've been hanging out too much on the coast when I go to Florida. I better get more inside Florida, Lake Okeechobee and whatnot. He comes pulling up, boom, boom. And listen, my whole youth is filled with like 
stereo systems and no. you know, I got 20 inch rims on my mommy car right now. Shall we quote Better Bachelor again? Say it with me now. Three, two, one. Shocking. Like it, it ain't no thing. George very nice to come and give me a ride. I open the car door, I open the truck door, climb up in there, I'm like, thank you, you know, I appreciate you coming, give me a ride, da da da. And so we're right, and he was like, hey, do you want to go grab some burritos at this place? I thought, sure, great, I'm hungry, I can get some burritos on the way home, you know, whatever, da da da, I'm, I'm good. So we go into the place to get the burritos. He paid for his food, I paid for my food, bags of chips, all of that. I'm thinking then for a second, like, okay, I'm gonna, maybe we're gonna sit here and eat, or I'm taking it home, or whatever. And he was like, he got it all back. So he's like, you know, whatever. I'm like, bet even better. I get to take it all to go because he paid for he paid for his food before I paid for my food. Bet we're in the game. Get into the truck and he's booming. Keep in mind, this is to get a ride. Okay, this is this is all the hurdles and hassles to get a ride. And even when I didn't have a car, you know what I had? I had my pedal bike. And you know what else I had? I had legs. Even in my worst financial, I did have a car. And I was able to get to where our transportation is kind of key. <sighs> and it's Christian rap music, Lecrae, if you guys know. Christian rap music. <laughs> this is a different world. This is a different world. And who that is, whatever. He reaches over and tries to put his hand on my hand on my leg. And I'm like, that's not very Christian. Please don't start this. <laughs> very nicely, just move my hand back, start playing with my phone. Y'all know how we do, like, mm, curve. Yes, y'all know how we do. Yeah, do we? Yes, y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, he's, yes, I know what you are saying. <laughs> Only South Park people are going to get that one. Yes, I know what you were saying. And then he goes, hey, do you mind if I stop by my house real quick? I have to grab something. Okay, sure. Fine. No problem. Because <sighs> although I did not want to stop by his house, I thought I'd just sit in the truck. <clears throat> it ain't going to be no thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really say like, no, go out of your way. He drove all the way to pick me up from the school. Like, I wanted to be considerate. She's right in this one regard. Any guy that comes offers to drive, look, anytime a guy expresses any interest in you girls because he wants to bang you, may not immediately bang you, but would like to get to know you to then get inevitably get to bang you. Polite guys want to get to know you first, but inevitably every guy, polite or not, wants to bang you. And maybe, yes, in her youth, that's, a, but she's right about this, ladies. No, no ain't nothing for free. Y'all know what I'm saying? We get to his house, I sit in the truck, he runs inside, he comes back out and says, hey, my mom wants to meet you. My mom wants to meet you. <laughs> this is like bizarro world. I, I, there's got, when I go to Florida, it's nice. And there's interesting people and I go to the cigar lounges and I smoke cigars at Ybor City and I get uh, some very nice restaurants in the Clearwater St. Petersburg stretch. Maybe take a motorcycle ride down to Sarasota over the what, Bradenton Bridge or whatever, even when I'm on the other side. Uh, I visit uh, Carrie Lutz over in Florida. I go to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Jupiter. Go as far north as St. Augustine. Where are these people? And I've even drove, like, across, you know, like, I've gone through Tallahassee. I, I don't, where, where is this? Where? say hi to you now in any other typical instance like this when a guy would ask, wants to ask me to meet his mom when i'm she literally said, just giving me a ride i would say no i'm not comfortable but because we went to church together and i saw her and i knew i was going to see her again on sunday i didn't want to be rude but when he opened up the truck door to do that he grabs the food and takes it inside so i'm like okay i'm gonna <laughs> i should have laughed that's not right it, that was the trap yeah that was Guys who have no game or think that it's just a matter of getting the girl to spend time with you, then she'll like to go out with you, but you're not going to ask them. And usually, well, like I said, that guy probably lives at home or doesn't have the money. He's impressing people that he does. Uh, 
Yeah, they got no confidence, none. So they got to trick you, and then maybe you, I don't know, in a Beauty and the Beast sort of way, as you're being held hostage. Oh, I like this guy. Maybe they're going for uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Is that what it is, Stockholm Syndrome? Make this quick, you know, whatever. I go in there, and she's setting the table. They've got this, like, you walk past the living room, there's this big table. She's setting like this, almost like a date scene or something it has candles on the table and there's two plates and he's bringing the food in she hands him the food and she's like i'm so glad that you're finally here you know john has been talking about you and it's so glad that you're here and it's so nice to formally meet you much as i'm picking on this gal <clears throat> for her accent predominantly in culture I feel bad. This is this is yeah, that's freaky man. That's I'm sorry. She's 100% right. That's just I, I never had, I never on the first date, not even a date, you just pick it. No one ever introduced me to their folks and was talking about me. Maybe no one loved me. But uh, yeah, that that's fucking weird, man. That Whatever, and I'm like, thank you. And it's so awkward. It's so awkward. I just want to go home. I just want to go home and eat my burritos. She starts taking the burritos out of the bag and, you know, putting them there. And so I sit down and... I just get burritos. <laughs> Candlelit burritos. He's like, I'm going to eat real quick. You want to eat? And I'm like, no, that's okay. And I'm like, oh, what am I going to do now? Uh, if you had a pedal bike and you ran instead of running, I mean, how far, how far could it have possibly been? I've ran miles so I didn't have to real. I do remember one time I was at a party and I was wanting to go for quite some time and my ride kept getting more drunk and drunk and drunk. I'm like, well, fuck this shit. I'm going to foot because he ain't, he was macking on a girl too. What was that? I think it was a six mile run. It sucked, but I did it. It was like 2 a.m., but I did it. Oh, like, I'm here. I'm in front of his mom. I can't say, like, take me home. You know what I'm saying? I have to sit there, y'all. <laughs> yes, I know what you are saying. He sits down across from me. I'm sitting there, but I'm not even, my feet are not even under the table. They're kind of to the side. I'm, like, in that ready to go mode like okay let's let's go and he sits down she's like over there like patting him on the back he's a total mama's boy no shame in it but like you know probably cleans his room and makes his bed for him type of thing no shame i'm not wait does he live at home i look gals i it's not sexy but guys who don't live at home guys who don't have other women's children Guys that just have their own crappy, dumpy apartment and live in a basement are getting by. Those are the ones that are being, you're watching the forging process of a boy into a man. So that when he comes out of this process of poverty and supporting himself and getting his education or degree or learning a skill, that then he becomes not a guy with pimped out. The guy spent how much money on pimped out rims and lives with mom? I'm guessing. I'm guessing. <clears throat> I would very much like, and we do, we have a handful of videos, they're not, certainly not the majority, a handful of female clients that have come and asked, and they're great, great bits of dating advice for the ladies. And I would, I would give other advice for women, because I know men, we're scum. We're all scum. It's just some of us are slightly less scummy than others, slightly. But this is imminently predictable. This is imminently predictable. I don't know. I, and I would. I'd, I'd do more advice for women, but women don't want to listen. They want to They want to be told what they want to hear. But this this is what happens when you're fed pine the sky poppycock. You know, in her case, this was, you know, oh, Christian men are all just fine and wonderful. And now she's in this situation. Would you girls like to avoid this situation? Well, yeah. Sometimes I have to listen to bad shit. I'm not trying to say anything rude. I'm just trying to paint you guys a picture. Total, total mama's boy. Yo. He opens up his burrito, silver packaging. He's looking at me. He reaches in his mouth and he pulls out his two front teeth. And when he does, the spit and saliva slapped onto his thumb. And he takes his teeth and he sets them on the table. Not on a napkin, but on the table. And then he just looks at me and he just opens his mouth with his two front teeth missing and bites the burrito, which is totally. His mom comes from around the other side and takes a paper towel and lifts up his teeth. His Yeah, and again, 
whatever eccentricities this uh, young lady has that I want to mock and ridicule or drive me up the fucking wall, uh, I feel so bad for her right now. Uh, I mean, I've I've done some bad stuff. I've put women probably on dates that didn't want to be with me there, but not to this level. Not to this level. And I am sorry uh, for what this young lady had to go through. <laughs> oh, this poor girl. Spitty puddle of spit on the actual table teeth and puts the napkin underneath it and sets his teeth down like this was... Okay. <clears throat> Opportune moment. He is how old living at home? Who also lives at home and he is part of a generation of? Oh yeah, the millennials. How not to become one? Those boring guys with their sensible cars getting by working their low jo rank jobs so they can become boring things like accountants. Or maybe, maybe uh, Christina Randall really has a newfound appreciation for dentists. Maybe. <laughs> the routine. They do this all the time. Like, oh baby, let me, let me clean up your teeth, bit. I got your teeth, bit. I got your boop boop. Like, I was waiting for her to come over with a napkin and tap his mouth next. But you know what? It's all cool. Like, I'm in y'all's house. Like, this is how... Y'all's house. Whose house? Y'all's house. <laughs> Nothing. It's an 80s thing. No, you kids will get it. Y'all run things. Like, do, do your thing. Go off. And by the way, no shame in people that are missing teeth. I'm missing a bunch of teeth. My husband is actually... Miss, he has a implant on his front tooth, and you guys want to hear a crazy story? How are people missing so many teeth? Is it meth? People getting in fights? Bad de I don't... I, I have a fair amount of cavities, actually. I've got bad teeth, but I've never lost one. Story about how he broke that tooth off and lost that tooth? Mm -hmm. That was wild. So, no shame in that, but it's just the whole entire scene, the whole entire vibe of everything. So, he scarfs down his burrito... I'm sitting there with my bag, ready to go, sitting sideways. He's like talking to me, making small talk. She's talking to me, making small talk. It's, it, that had got to be hell for this girl. That has just got to be hell. I, ugh. I'm just trying to be nice and polite, and I'm just so ready to go. He goes into his back of the house or something from somewhere, and he comes out. He leans us against the thing. He was like, Christina, he's like, come here. And like, I'm looking at his mom like... <sighs> I can't, what am I supposed to say, you guys? What am I supposed to say? No, I'm ready to go. Like, yeah, yeah. I get up. I walk back there, and it's his room. <laughs> I, I didn't charge enough for this one. And he has this big, huge, like, wooden bed. It had to be like a California King Plus. I mean, he was tall, so he needed a big bed. Big, huge bed with wooden rails all around it and a big bookshelf in the back and a TV across from it, and he sits on the bed. So he was living at home. That's, okay, he was. And he pats the bed. And this is when I say, no, I really, I really need to get back. I'm exhausted. You know, I've been working at school. I've got homework. Like, I'm tired. And he was like, oh, okay. He had, like, little uh, toy figurines and stuff. Listen, no shit. <laughs> I... Absolutely believe her one hundred percent because how many of the of the nerd geek neat uh, insult world have you seen where they got their figurines in the back and they live at home at the age of thirty something? I, <clears throat> I, 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 my heart goes out to this gal. I was gonna be a little bit by. I, I checked my bias and okay, all right, y'all, oh, ah, but yeah, it's as much as we complain on this channel about dating the ladies, um, we have to be. Vigilantly reminded that the millennial boys are not exactly the highest quality and caliber. So. I know, listen, listen, he had little toy figurines on the bookshelf and stuff, like, you're good, you're good. So, gets in the truck, and we get everything, and mom's like, oh, you're leaving? And I'm like, yeah, I'm tired, I get to get back, and she's like, I can't wait to see you again, and I'm like, I don't see you think again. it's gonna happen. <laughs> so he gets me in the truck, I was in the truck, drops me off. I did reach over there to give him a hug. Like, thank you. I hug everybody, you guys. And no, 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 no. Some of these boys have never been touched by another woman. And I don't even mean down there. I mean, like, someone just, you know, you get the little peck on the cheek. He holds me tight, and I'm like... 
Hang on. Point of order. Yes, Mr. Clary. Point of order, Your Honor. Yes, sir, Mr. Clary. Was the father of this man available for comment? Where's the dad? Huh? We don't need no man. The government checks to replace the fathers. This is what happens when you don't have your fucking dads around. Wow, really? The guy's living at home with his ma. No kidding. This is what ends up happening. No shit. No man to step in there. Shit, Jesus. I didn't really have anyone train me, and we, we learned. I've made some, oh, God, I've made some horrible mistakes, Danny. We all have. But Jesus Christ. I, I don't know what, you have to have a complete absence of a father for this to be a reality where you are, you got dentures and your mom is picking up your dentures for you. I, even in my nerdiest of nerd lives, I never went that low. Never. Yeah, I'll walk before I take this ride again. Oh, did I, oh, I skipped it, sorry. The rings on the book, long. No shame in it. Yeah. There we go. I'll walk before I take this ride again. See? What? I... The Lord uh, gave you two legs for walking. And a bicycle. Nothing wrong with walking. I always walk from the bus back to my uh, southern command. Hey. So I get out of the truck. I go in. Now. Listen. The calls and the stalking occur next. I'm going to bet. And he shot his shot. No shame in it. It wasn't for me. No shame in it. Did he try to make it a date with the candles and the mama as our waitress and the everything? And I'm glad he felt comfortable with me. Sure. Great. It wasn't a date. It was a ride. Very, very long. <laughs> All right, dude. It, it, it's, uh, I'm on her side. I, I feel bad. I don't think her and I are going to talk fiscal policy or central banking anytime soon, but I, 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 she's, on, she's on the right side. Many, many detours. Right, okay? That's my perspective. The weird thing about it was afterwards, Alex started getting these really weird emails from him that were like booty call emails and very, very pornographic. Uh, with oh, the words mixed up a little bit. Prawn. I was like, shrimp? Because they are in Florida. Maybe they have prawns. I don't know. Emails from him. And she would show them to me. She's like, "Why?" now listen, once again, you guys, whatever you do in your spare time, whatever you do in private, whatever I do in private, that's your business. That's my business. This is a guy, though, that we're in like, we have to see all the time. It's not like you're getting these random emails from just a random person. And you know, you open up an email thinking, oh, it's from John. And you see like booty and boobies and all these things in your face. And you're like, this is awkward. Why are you sending this to me? So eventually I told her, you need to text him and tell him why is he sending these to you? Why are you getting these? He's the father was not available for comment. Anytime y'all want to start, y'all see how I did. See, but I put it in front. <clears throat> I was referring to you as a pronoun. Anytime y'all, don't got me saying it, want to stop this poverty and shit like this from happening, you want incels to be eradicated from the face of the planet, marry the right guy, stay together, maintain a nuclear family, and don't have kids you can't afford or aren't willing to raise said it was spam and I do believe that that could happen I you know like if you but also you got your email in these websites clearly and they got your email and now they're sending spam so and those went on for her for months so she's constantly deleting these emails that she was getting from John of like fetishes and different stuff like that so the whole entire thing was very very weird very very bizarre like i hope that he's happy i hope that he found somebody that he loves and that loves <laughs> him and that his mom loves and that he lo that loves her i hope that they have a great life together but it wasn't with me <laughs> so <laughs> that is a very cringy ride date do you guys have any cringy ride no all right, i'm not gonna go through the it's like a full minute remaining and i'm not gonna go through
<clears throat> All right, there you go, buddy. Hope, hope it was worth the money. I totally undercharged for that one. And now I'm going to go... I don't even rethink my life after these. I'm just like, wow, humanity's dark, and I'm going to stay the fuck away from that part of Florida. Questions, answers, money, blah, blah, blah. Links down below. I cannot emphasize this one enough. Don't end up like that guy. Don't, don't end up in jail like this gal. I'm sure she has a much more interesting story. And you don't even have to read the book. Just don't get people pregnant when you're fucked up yourself. There you go. See you guys later. Toodles.